automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum, 9-5. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Hey there. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. If you want to remain in our compound, I suggest you answer my question first. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals? I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? So you're a mercenary. Typical. Fine. You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty. But I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology. Its power. Its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than a benefit. The atom bomb. Bioengineered plagues and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement had wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. There are very few, outside the Brotherhood, who appreciate the gravity of the situation we're facing as a species. So, what do you say? Will you help us? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Halo, take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hey there. Think you're some kind of hotshot? Sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Oh, so now we're supposed to be best buddies. Well, guess what? I'm not interested in making friends. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. I'll be certain to keep out of your way, then. You do that. Now why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? Scribe Halen. Sorry about the other guys. Why are you cutting me so much slack? I, uh... I joined the Brotherhood not too long ago. They used to be like you, wandering alone. So I know what it feels like when every single person you bump into sticks a gun in your face. Look, it may not seem like it, but 
Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol is his bread and butter. And Reese? Well, let's just say he's as hard-headed as a Mr. Gutsy. But you know what? I trust both of them with my life. Because they're good people. And that's hard to come by nowadays. Why Paladin. are you standing Ready around here with nothing to do? Paladin dances Why waiting. establish an outpost at the police station? Given the nature of the facility, we felt it would be tactically advantageous to search it for weapons and ammunition. The radio tower on the roof was an unexpected boon, but it obviously has its shortcomings that need to be rectified. It might not be as imposing as the Citadel back in the capital wasteland, but it suits our purposes. That's all I'm willing to divulge at this point. Are you ready to proceed with the mission? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. Our jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals at best in Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. It might surprise you to learn that my recon isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Over the last seven years, Two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them. And they haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing. Shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head in through the front. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. It was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they've done. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that brother might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieval. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna recommend the Thank <laughs> you.
Paladin dance. Well, 
That could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. That isn't necessary. I insist you keep it. The Brotherhood believes in paying all of its debts. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details.